Battletech, a battle between good, the Star League, and evil, the Clan. A battle between Nikolai Malta, Galaxy will be mine, and Adam Steiner. Never! Brave soldiers in gigantic robot vehicles with one weakness. It is Black Panther! Battle of Damage. Battletech, no guts, no galaxy. Adam Steiner comes with Axeman, other backs sold separately. Crushing heresy is hard work. I have worked up a massive hunger. Wherever shall I go to satisfy my space marine-sized appetite? Well, my battle brother and the God Emperor, I know just the place. When you need to crush your space marine-sized hunger, there's only one place to go. Primark Pizza can satisfy an appetite that moves power armor across the battlefield. We use ingredients that will make sure to fill you up. Just don't ask where they came from. We'll make sure that you get the protein, sugars, and carbohydrates you need to keep crushing heresy. No other food on the market comes close to satisfying the way we do at Primark Pizza. Not available on all planets and no delivery. Hello everyone, this is Halzakar of the Black Pants Legion coming at you with Weekends and Hanging with Halzakar. Thank you everybody for being here. Man, we've already got people over here in chat. Night Clerk, Night Clerk hit up that uh, subscribe pretty much as soon as I I'm started to fire up. On that. So, <laughs> Silicone dropping the bits. Thank you, Silicone. Um... Uh, there's Der Burger, there's Garimos, there's Samurai, there's Laughing Man, there's more people. Bolo is here, um, Zykes is here, Ashura, Sliny. Thank you, everybody, and and more, I'm sure. Thank you all for being here. I'm glad you're here with us. Somebody once told and me. And Der Burger just resubscribing. Thank you, Der Burger. You, you, you did that. We appreciate it. <laughs> I don't have Mad Ducks here to say, why are you here? But then tonight, we're getting back into Grim Fandango, and guess what? We got a guest with us, isn't that right? You you uh, you left the door open. Well, that's okay. If I leave the door open and put food out, I'm trying to get somebody in. Ah, uh, okay. Is that what that was supposed to be? Food. <laughs> <laughs> it was Primark Pizza Breadsticks is what it was. Oh, okay, so it's 3,000 years old. I see. Yep. That, that excuses Fossilized. it. That, ex that uh, excuses it. So, Warlax, thank you for sitting in with me tonight. I appreciate you being here. I, I planned something so different for my introduction, but the fact that you're just so calm, I can't do it. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't want to ruin the... The room, the surprise on that one. So we'll we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But yes, tonight. Well, well, may I? Because it's not going to ruin the surprise. But I want everyone to know what's coming. Oh, if you would like. Dwarven Tucker Carlson. His name. 
his Tinkle name? Gunderson. Tinkle Gunderson. I see. We'll be looking forward to hearing from Tinkle Gunderson in the near future. Uh, I see positive shares are on, and we've already had a couple redeemed. The first one is from Silicone. Got to play some video games with some of my oldest friends for the first time in a year or so. Got some good weather. Spent time outside. Yard work finished. Spaghetti for dinner soon. Silicone, that sounds very, very nice. Now, here's that one, does sound awesome. Here's one from Fulgar, positive share. I survived my, survived my daughter's 14th birthday party with all of her friends at three venues. Fulgar, that's the kind of thing that deserves like a, a commemorative patch or something. Like like a, a pink pink party hat with yeah, like I, I blood mean, splattered that, on it or something. That would have been Boy Scout Jamboree. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, positive share for me, uh, this past week ended. This past week was crazy. Had two people out at work. I started a new class, which meant I had a boatload of paperwork to do. I, uh, hello, Ginger. I, uh, was doing a bunch of tax stuff. And frankly, I was just absolutely cooked. So I am positive that this past week was over. Oh, here's one from Samurai. Baseball is back, baby. Our stadium hosted some college games this weekend. I got to sit at the door and watch a game and call it work. I also heard a player taunt a batter by saying, I shit you not, screaming, I bet it takes you three days to make potato salad. (laughs) I mean, if you're making a good potato salad. (laughs) That, I appreciate inventive insults like that. Thank you for sharing it, Samurai. Warlax, do you have a, a positive share you'd like to do? Or was that the creation uh, of no, Tinkle Gunderson? Um, I, I'm not sure how positive that force is going to be. Yet. Yet. It's coming. It's coming. Well, I mean, I, I mean, he, he has so many complaints about, you know, the elvish magic and how it's ruining dwarven children. Well, it might be. But I, I don't, I, I don't know how it's going to become something positive, but it'll be something. Look out! Mm. And as as for me and positive shares, uh, mm-hmm. oh, I I got uh I got a new model that I am putting together this week that uh, uh you will all see at some point when it comes down to the Thursday night stream. Uh, needless to say, it is very large and covered in feathers. Ooh. Very cool, very cool. Sorry about the sound sting there. Premature gameulation happening. Ginger said got some shelves up for the tea station. Organization makes you happy. I'm glad. I'm glad that organization makes you happy. Um, let's see. Yeah. So we are going to get it back into uh, Grim Fandango. Let me switch the screen real quick. Yeah, there we go. They have a pill for premature gameulation. I said they had a pill for it. Um, Vectron, I believe. Mm. They have a pill for it, really. Is it? Uh, oh, is it made by John Romero? And it's about how Daikatana is not any good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 26 years callback. Somebody once told me. Cold War, thank you for subscribing. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Oh, we had a positive share from Laughing Man. Reminder, that redeem is on. It's only one. Uh, hold on. 20, 26 years. Try again, Hals. The no, game not... came out in 2000. But the hype started for it two years before that. And two years before that, the hype had already begun. Yeah, we don't we don't count the hype trail only when it happens. No, no, I'm gonna go back to '98 because that's when I had a friend in the high school cafeteria telling me Daikatana was gonna be awesome. Uh, okay, so when did John Romero think of Daikatana? I have no idea. So that's the reason we can't do the hype train. <laughs> that's why I'm calling back to that. But anyway, Laughing Man had one here for us. Laughing Man, I went to visit old friends and family. We went to a giant gun show, ate good food, drank too much whiskey, and my nephew lost a tooth in an ear of corn. That is, Laughing Man, that is a heck, a heck of a sequence of events. That oh, hold on, great. hold on. That sounds like a Midwestern weekend. <laughs> 
Geth has a positive share. Made it through the week. I'm just glad things worked mostly the way they were supposed to this afternoon. When a guest had a heart attack during a real fire alarm, we were able to get immediately get help for them, and they made it to the hospital, and the fire was contained quickly. Geth, incredibly positive. I'm glad stuff went so well. I, You know what? I am thrilled to hear that, that things worked out the way they were supposed to, and you were able to help folks and contain the crisis. Geth, massive thumbs up. Massive, massive howls of thumbs up to you. I don't know if that's a thing. I just, I'm apparently saying it now. It is now. And then Square made it through the week. Glad that the Ox Kung Fu Gang's memes made it into my oral debates. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting, seeing some Daikatana callback now. Um, An update from Tinkle Gunderson. Uh, just to let you all know, uh, the Burger Party is still pulling ahead of all of the other parties. God help us if they win. All right. We are going to be going back into Grim Fandango. A little little heads up for everybody about this. Um, oh, oh, Cold War Grunt, place I work is going through inventory, so I'm the only contractor on site this week. Plus, watch Pit Viper spread to the mayoral debates. <laughs> and here's one from Bolo. Good evening, gentlemen. My meds got sorted out. Awesome. My Mech Warrior game yesterday saw us getting shanghaied into a Solaris 7 match due to Capel and Treachery. We beat the brakes off the competition. Go, Borgar. Fantastic, Bolo. I'm glad for both of you. Now, little heads up. And Borgar. Yeah, and Borgar. Uh, little heads up. You might look at this screen and go, hey, that's not where you left off last week. You would be right. That would be because last week, <gasps> um, week before last, not last week, because last week Parallax set in for me because I was off um, leading, helping lead a retreat. I was quite occupied, but... The you might remember that the game glitched on me, and um, when the game glitched on me, I couldn't actually do anything, so I had to go back and replay everything up to that point. Um, and when I did that, yeah, when I did that, it took me longer to get there than it took me to do it on stream. So if this happens again, no, Samurai, no, it was a uh. No, I was I was helping lead a church retreat, so it was a great time. But man, I I worked my tail off. Anyway, if this particular thing if it glitches out again, I don't know. I might pivot to something else out of sheer frustration. We'll find out. But return to game. We've got Glottis here, and he just wants to drive. Adjust the volume real quick. That's awfully. Yeah, that's that's really, really, really high. Okay, I don't know what those weird noises are, but uh, I believe it is the remaster. Yeah. Yep, Grim Fandango remaster. It is Grim Fandango remastered. You retopped your convertible mostly correctly, Night Clerk. That's awesome. Thank you. Now this okay, is a uh, Night Clerk. Run. Night Clerk, I have to ask uh, if it's mostly correctly. Okay. Does that mean that the passenger seat those doesn't those have any? Are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety. Therefore, the ejection room. seat is possible. All right. Because I'd totally be down to hearing about that. <laughs> We're gonna get back in the boom wagon. And Glottis is so excited about driving, he can't. The bone wagon, mm -hmm. or the, or the the shagging wagon? No, no, there's no bone in in this wagon. Seriously? Oh my god! <laughs> Don't tell anyone about this. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, oh it is frozen. Oh. This is where I wish that we had Squick and his MRB complaints button. Hang on. I know that you can still hear us right now. Don't worry. I'm aware of it. Things I'm aware of. That is one of them. This was not my fault, though. It's not... It, all right. 
It's not his fault. It was not my fault. Somebody put a black screen in his way. And somebody put a glitch in my game. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh my gosh. This is... Oh man. Okay. Okay, wow. This is a heck of a um, thing. Are you using that from Steam? Yeah. Have you verified the integrity of the cache files? Sure. I'm going to sure. Take that as a nope. I'm going sure. to take that as a nope. <laughs> let's let's look at the bone wagon to see if that interaction is better. He wasn't kidding. He really loves to drive. He does really love to drive. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. Okay, now, nope. There it is. So apparently it's a common bug at this exact point to have the whole blessed thing shut down on you. All right, I'm gonna try one other thing. I'm gonna try one other thing. If that doesn't work, then I'm calling an audible. You up for calling an audible, Warlax? Cause I'm gonna call I am an always audible. up for calling an audible. I'm gonna call me an audible if I have to. You're just gonna have to tell me if I'm going to be participating in the audible. Well, or... I, I have to decide what it is first. So I'm not there yet. Yeah, this is I mean this is a this is a beast of a thing to discover that it's like oh no this is a common bug. This happens all the time right whenever you start. Right whenever you start. Awesome. Love it. Fantastic. Excellent. Just just juicier than I can I can describe. Yeah, get up here. Take that up there. Maybe that'll change something. I don't know. Lucas Arts! <laughs> Alright, yes. Now, put that here. Yeah. There, that's exactly what we wanted. I'm sure that's going to make... Oh, it's never been patched either. Oh my gosh. Alright, hang on. Save. New save. Is that what killed me on the first the first time I tried to play through this? It might be. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. I moved the thing, it made a difference. Alright. Okay, this is where we were. Yes, I recall this. Híjole, mano. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. We could make a sweet go-kart. <laughs> yes, it's the second save. That's what saved you. Yes. Yes, we will have new save here. All right. He looks much better with his heart not ripped out. Doesn't he? What's that? He looks much better with his heart not ripped out. Yes. I... I yes, I believe that this is correct. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, you can use it to block certain can lines, if I recall correctly. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 I succeeded. I am still successful. We are still operating. Mm, fight me, cheese monkeys. Th that's a... That's a statement. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What happens if I do this? Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balance it turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! 
If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. Okay. Now I'm going to wait for him to get back down. Why? Well... Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Because last time I turned it on and it gave rise to a new glitch. Hmm, uh, I guess that's fair. That should do it. Okay, now we'll let him. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. All right, hey, man. While you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. You do that, man. Yeah, Gladys, you go do that. We could always. Who okay, cares? Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. At this point, who cares, right? Like we're kicked out of the city. We don't have our job anymore to pay off our debt. We're gonna try and and, and upgrade the, the car because that should do it. That's what we got. Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Okay, now we have our repeat. Um, so now we wait. Can I? Oh, that's the only thing I can interact with. All right, go for it, Gladys. Yeah, we got to unbalance hey, it, right? Well, you have that off. Let me try moving those. That would be my guess. Yes. More. Well, I. I'm not putting my lips on oh, that. Thank you for the bits, T.O. Okay, just give me a second to balance these. I feel doggies. as though someone has just flicked a. a, a like that. A hey, fucking. Daddy, uh, cigar doing? butt at me. Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. <laughs> Outside of the entertainment value. Awesome. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna save in a third slot just to make sure. Yes, I will move the wheelbarrow. No! Oh no! This. It has happened again! Mm. Can I do anything over here? Like silicone put or samurai put the the glitch fixing I up here. Myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. The glitch fix up there, but that would be too long right. for not picking stream that up. purposes. So let's see what happens when I turn it back off. See what Gladys says. Hey, I actually have an idea. What's that? It might be a stupid idea. Okay. You can swap between classic and. Uh, Classic look and uh, modern look, right? You could do that in full throttle, but I don't know if you right. can in this one. Okay, I thought you'd done that the other day. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, take it to classic look and see if that helps. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Okay, this is frustrating because it's like, well, that's not how this is supposed to work. There's no door on this trailer. I think it's just a big generator. No trailer hitch on the bone wagon. Too many bugs. Too many bugs. Too many bugs. Okay, so interesting. If Gladys is here... you have that off let me try moving those weights around some more go for it man 
Like this, I'm pretty sure that this this cable right here is distended. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. I don't want to do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, so if I try and move the wheelbarrow while he's up there, I glitch out. So I'm not gonna do that. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Wasn't me this time. These kids did it. Oh, okay. Oh, poor Glottis. I like Glottis, but poor Glottis. If I set it down, yeah, it was the kids, man. It was all the kids. I can't look at these wires, so switches up. You know, this does seem to be messed up more than it was the other ways. Yeah, Why maybe. Had that off. Let me try moving those weights around some more. Man, dude, do that, Manny. Get up there, man. I'm sure it's fine. Now, These no kids, did they have a meddling dog? Time, Probably. Ah. Uh... Manny, you <laughs> It's still funny. Oh, it's still always. Funny. It will always be funny. But I believe that you are going to need to move the wheelbarrow in order to make any of it work. Uh. Uh. Gladys, he, he wanted to drive. He didn't say what. That was a dirty trick, Manny. I don't know how that happened, but I think it was an electrical short. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do appreciate that he keeps coming up with new excuses. That is the best way. <sighs> Folks, we'll be right back. Uh. Okay, so since Grim Fandango is borked, <clears throat> I'm going to pivot to something that's not so resource intensive or maybe is newer and potentially not screwed up. This is a little game called Pirate Outlaws. Guess what? It's a card game. So I'll start here with our first guy. This is the art, um, the gunner. He uses he uses pew pews. Go bang bang. Um. Samurai, I am going to save that. Yes. I am going to save that. Actually, Warlax, could you do me a favor and, and copy that URL and message it over to me? Yes, I can do so. Thank you very much. So, Pirate Outlaws. Here's how it works. You pick your outlaw. You go to an, a zone. And here we are. Now, I get to pick one of these here at the beginning. I don't remember why. I just do. 
Uh, Laughing Man, the answer is yes. I'm going to pick the bananas. Um, let me see. So, as I go up through here, these locations are going to be fight locations. This is a tavern. This is a trading post. The ones with the question marks are events. And that whirlpool will spit me out right up here. So, I think I'm actually going to head straight for that. Let us skip a bunch of the map. <laughs> Thank you, Silico. Alright, let's see what you got here, fellers. Well, okay, so issue order means that my next cards deal a critical hit. In this game, if you deal a critical hit, it does double damage. So if I do that... And then oh, grab... double damage! Yep, and I do Hell. double shot. Then... That's quite the number of damage. Aye, it's doubled. There is a broken bottle in this game, uh, Grunt. You can you can use a uh, broken bottle as a... Well, you have to use the bottle as a weapon, then you get the broken bottle shuffled into your deck. So, that's pretty nice. I'm going to punch him. I'm going to give him the shooty-shoot. Now, just... You know what? Here, I'm going to overkill that guy by, like, a lot. Um... This scene actually seems kind of useful, because it'll blow up. Um, I will have you know that Scott Pirates, just because I'm doing a god-awful, horrible accent, is no reason to hold anything against Mad Ducks. Isn't that right, Warlax? Uh, this is correct. Mad okay. Ducks has nothing to do with your bad accents. Uh, pretty much. Uh, we'll throw that back there. I would, however, hold uh, Mad Ducks accountable for having a Borgar party. Well, yeah, which is better than a sausage party. Honestly, it kind of depends on what kind of sausage it is. There, I pewed that guy. Now, this guy's gonna hit me, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him. There were Scott Pirates. Definitely Welsh Pirates and Welsh Privateers. And Dewey Sausage? What? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we were just discussing that there are some sausages that would actually make a decent party. On Dewey is one of them. Yes, I will give this person some food and they give me money. Now, we will go to the Maelstrom. Yay, look at that. We moved up really far. I'm not going to try and open that chest, because it loads you up with curses. Now, if I was playing the Cursed Captain, that would be totally cool. But I'm not playing the Cursed Captain. I'm going to give you the pew and you the pew, and I'm going to reload my ammo. I have to get rid of this guy quickly, because as the game goes on, he ramps up. Uh, so we're going to give him... Oh, no! 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 It, it, it wasn't enough. No, because Curse Cap, he's not immune. He thrives on it. Hello, Hippocampus. Thank you for being here. Uh, he actually thrives on it. The more curses you get, the more powerful he is. So, that's kind of nice. And then we're going to just give that person a shot. Right there. Um, I will actually do more damage if I use my standard shots than if I use my red barrel. So... Oh, you, you, you got no, you have nothing. You have, you have, you, your expectations are about to be shattered given that there is a digs class. Hipp <laughs> Hippocampus, I'm glad you're here even if you can't stay very long. Thank you for coming. I appreciate that. We'll give him the, we'll give him the double kick. Alright, we're gonna eat some food. We're gonna eat some more food. That's good. I'm sailing. Uh oh, it's a boss. I'm away. I'm sailing away. I can't sing any more of the silly song. Because I don't know the words. Alright, there we go. But it has something to do with some aliens. It does? Oh my god, how long has it been since you've heard that song? Um, I don't have a good answer for you. 
Okay, so it turns out that he meets some angels, and those angels aren't actually angels, they're aliens. Wait, seriously? Yes! That's what happens in that song? Oh my god! So, you have not paid attention, like, at all! No, I never listened to the whole... The only time I listened to the whole thing was when they did it as a joke on South Park. Thank you, Bolo Unit! Thank you! Derberger, to answer your question, Grim Fandango was so bugged that I was effectively stuck. I'll try and find a way to fix that and get past it. Um, they, they climbed aboard their starship and headed for the sky. I told this you. Is, this is a line from the song. What did I just say? I only remember it from South Park. Like, and I wasn't paying that close of attention because I was more laughing at the fact that Cartman had to do the whole thing. Yes, yes, Psyduck. I was trying to Grim Fandango, and the Grim went in Fandango. So, you know, what are you going to do? Here, have a shot. Okay, so apparently there's some... There's some, there's some musical weirdness that um, I'm not acquainted with. And I'm just going to have to make peace with that. Ouch! He hit me with a boat anchor, guys. That hurt. Because he hit me with a boat anchor. He's going to kill me. Yep, I am the dead. <laughs> Thank you, Sunshine. That's great. <laughs> Alright, different hero. Oh, we collected all the cards and relics in the first bay. That's awesome. So I can either go just kind of work my way up the class as we go, or I can jump straight to the digs class. What do you all think? Um, well, I, I know probably what most people's response to that is going to be. So apparently Samurai said I broke my D&D &D group in his descent to Avernus. There's a giant pipe organ in the cathedral and my bard played Come Sail Away as the city was freed and returned to the prime material. <laughs> you know what? You're getting a slight grin and a slow nod for that one. Okay, well, okay, yes, we'll hear. The Diggs class. The Bear Tamer. So it's Diggs and Gummy, alright? Oh, I completed all of that. I need a different quest. No, uh, no, because I haven't defeated every boss on stage three. Okay, alright, we'll, we'll go back to Pirate Bay. Uh, yeah, we'll take the bananas. I probably should have used him that last fight, but I thought I could finish him off before we got there. Let's see. So if I want to hit both of these, I gotta go over here. Alright, here we go. Alright. Well, here's the thing to remember. Diggs is gonna go plumb wild here. See that? That's a wild Diggs right there is what that is. And mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, that's looking like a wild dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Fit, fitting to go plumb wild. Get him. Oh, I have to reload. Mm -hmm. Well, he, get him. Go. Yeah, see, there's that. He's gonna go super more. wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that, and then we'll hit him with a fish so Diggs attacks the fish. Yeah. No, no, it's not yeah. a wild Diggs. This is. This is the Diggs class. Wow, Diggs! Wow, Diggs! Da, 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 yeah, da, da. yeah! You like to eat lots of figs. Da, da. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Somebody help me. I wouldn't say domesticated. <laughs> I okay. no, nobody said domesticated. Australia, um I am not qualified to answer that question, and therefore I will not. But we will crossbow this dude. Boo! 
Oh, oh, we got something from Bola. I once derailed a game of Rogue Trader because I was supposed to do what I had always done up to that point. Beat my way through the enemy stronghold. Bombarding the enemy stronghold from orbit with the ship's macro cannon batteries was not on the list of expected outcomes. Um. Well. I don't know how it could not be on the list of expected outcomes if the option was there. Like, if the option's there, then it should be. It's like that. This is a thing that could happen. This should always be recognized as a thing that could happen. Always be recognized. That could ha I was playing Shadowrun. I was playing in a game of Shadowrun, and my, um, my, my squad mates were infiltrating an Ares facility. Now, since, um, <clears throat> since, uh, my, uh, my character was a big, um, physical adept troll who could not be sneaky if his life depended on it, they left him on Overwatch with a giant gun, and then they said to, you, you, you really want to hear what they said to him. They said, hey, if things go badly, we're going to leave you this, this mortar to cover our escape. And I went, oh, okay. And they left. And I did not ask them what kind of rounds they had left for me to use. And so when the alarm went off, I started using my rifle and dropping security guys I could see. And then I went, oh, wait, this is supposed to be really good cover. And I just grabbed a round off the border pile. Well, it wasn't really a pile. They were strapped to the side of it. And the GM looks at me and goes, do you know what you're grabbing? And I said, nope. What kind are they? And he said, well, you'll see when it lands. <clears throat> and they were white phosphorus mortar grenades that I fired onto an Ares macro technology facility. And, uh, you know... That, that'll do it. And I couldn't climb down the rope because I, I kept whiffing the strength check to do it. But I was able to get down the rope because I discovered that if I let go and then grabbed it again, I could use the body check to grab it again. <laughs> and so my body was high enough that I could let go, go down, grab the rope, and stop. <laughs> and did that the whole way down a four-story building. <laughs> so you repelled using... Um, my grip. In-universe, in in uh, uh, you know, reasoning. Yeah, yeah, basically just using strictly my own grip, repelling down... Not climbing down, but just falling a little bit and then stopping myself. <laughs> and then I got in the van and I met them at the draw at the pickup point and I said, "Hey guys, how are you?" And they went, "What happened?" I said, "What do you mean, what happened?" He said, "Everything was on fire." I said, "Well, you told me to use the mortar if, there, if things went badly." <laughs> yeah. Well, what were those mortars? Uh, uh I I don't know. Uh, I didn't look. You didn't tell me what they were. What do you want me to do about it? You said use it. I used it. Truck was a capable guy, but if you if someone just gave the whole idea behind him was that he had been part of it like a uh, brainwashed as part of a uh, corp um, special security team. So there was Truck the troll, there was Bike the elf, and there was Car the human. So that was they each when they would transport VIPs, there would they'd each be in a truck in a truck on a bike or in a car and then he just kind of one day he just kind of got kicked out and he didn't know why and you couldn't find anything because he had the erased background perk so um he was just like uh we just he just, just kept going to work he was fun it was fun not having to try and be the smart one a lot Let's do that and that. And we'll use this and boost our defense here. There we go. Did I tame the pirate? I think I lamed the pirate is what I think I did there, Fulgar. All right. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Go get him digs. And now I'm going to hit you with a fish. This guy's a pain because if he picks up that cannon, he does 25 damage with it. Oh, oh, we got something here from Bolo. Orbital bombardment was always a possibility. I hadn't done it yet. 
And really, I'd only done it because I'd gotten injured during a Gellerfield breach during the warp trip to the planet. The GM knew me very well, and he's got a good read on what I'll do. Um, yeah, Samurai, I'm with you there, too. Um, if I'm not having to be the smart one, then... I don't know. I don't like being the big dumb fighter, but I also enjoy not, not being the smart one all the time, if that makes any sense. Yeah, we took one damage from your big dumb gun. That's it. Just one. I'm going to give you some stabby stabs. And then I'm going to give you the digsy digs. There we go. And we'll get more stabby stabs. Uh, what's here? I found a rusty anchor. Oh, deal damage when they change positions. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a cursed hammer. Yeah, we'll upgrade something with a cursed hammer. Nothing could go wrong using a cursed hammer, right? Um, what is that? Oh, it doesn't get removed after I use it. Oh, totally, totally worth it. We'll do that. Nope, now we'll leave. My all-time favorite character was Doug, the unfrozen caveman linebacker. Where, okay, wait. What system was Doug, the unfrozen caveman linebacker from, Sam? Does it matter? I am curious. I, I gots to know. I, I think just the name Doug, the unfrozen caveman linebacker is enough. Savage Worlds, East Texas University. Oh, my God. Oh my god, isn't that isn't East Texas University where uh, Terry Funk and Bruiser Brody and Ted DiBiase and all them came from? Or was that West Texas University? I'm not sure. I love it anyway. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll go... Blah, 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 and he'll be gone. Oh, Bolo. One of my favorite Star Wars... One of my favorite Star Wars Age of Rebellion characters was a mass production version of an M14X from the Old Republic. A bloodthirsty patriotic robot who actually came up with plans. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, if I do this, he'll bleed out at the start of next turn, and that's that's good. See, he drops. There we go. That'll work. Oh, East Texas University is the GURPS Illuminati University. Alright. Huh. Did not know that. But well, then again, I know... When it comes to GURPS, I know Jack and Squat and Jack left town. So. Hey, look. We can have firecrackers. <laughs> Y'all want some lady fingers? <laughs> Let's see. That's for weakened enemies. I don't have anything for that, though. I'll buy that. That's nice. Buffy, the college you're setting. Oh! Oh! Buffy, the collegiate slayer. Okay. I don't know anything. I, don't, I didn't watch Buffy, but I, I think I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. Now, we will fight Redbeard, the drinker. Smack him. Crossbow. Oh, this is... Yeah, we'll do that. Get this back. We'll digs him. Yeah, he's gone. And then we'll, we'll crossbow him. Hey! You can't do that to me. Tell him he can't do that to me. You're not allowed to do that to Hal's. Thank you for telling him. I appreciate it. You asked me to, therefore <laughs> I will do so. <laughs> Thank you, Sunshine. Plus five to HP. That is one of Meat's many uses. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Here, firecracker. There we go. There we go. Keep the change, you filthy animal. My wife would be happy. I made a Christmas joke. Dude, you don't understand. You don't... 
my wife is is one of those people who the 20 the 365 day a year Christmas stores is made for okay so I you, you, you. no no I do understand because I live near one of those and it scares me every single time I am made is that Bronner's is that right? yes you know I've heard of it uh, what you have heard is not nearly what it is. It is worse. I believe you got it, Hal, but my Tommy gun doesn't. <laughs> Thank you, Polo. Yes, there is one of those in a delightful place known as Pigeon Forge near Gatlinburg in Tennessee as well. And they used to have a delightful aspect to it that was called the Husband's Lounge, where there were big comfy couches and big screen TVs playing football all the time. <laughs> and then they took it out to make another room for more Christmas stuff. Samurai, don't you put that evil on me. Yes, eat nanners. We're gonna eat nanners. We're, we're not gonna... Oh, Psydoc is on board, too. I love Christmas, and those stores are for me. That's... Look, man, the very first time I took my wife into that store, because I knew it existed, I was aware of it, she walked in to the very first room of the place, stopped in the middle of it, and kind of spread her arms and did a Disney princess twirl right there in the middle of the store, okay? Like... Yeah, Australia, you're you're hundred percent right. Fulgar, I don't know how, because it's right there on the main drag. It's right there. I don't know how you could not see it, man. It is like it is right there for all to see. And they have like big signs and they have a Christmas themed hotel across the, the street from it, man. Like I mean, I understand that you're you're grateful. But I don't know how you pulled that particular one off, man, because that was... There there it waited for you, like a shark in the water. Oh, what's this pendant do? If you have no armor, armor game is doubled. That's nice. Telescope. Draw a card. Nah, we're going to do this instead. <laughs> Mythbusters proved that 80% of Kevin McAllister's home defense traps were lethal. That sounds right. Uh, yes, Temple, I have been to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I bought... I have bought... Big foam prop fake swords from them. From there. Um, and it is sweet to find a place that makes people happy. It's just... It's a little difficult, because it doesn't make me happy, and then I have to wait for a long time. <laughs> and then you have to watch as your wife picks up everything in a single room. Look, to see her happy makes me happy. My problem is that, you know, we can't take it all home, and I have to have that conversation. Uh-huh. What kind of store would make Hal's happy? I don't... Do they still have the animatronic bears there? I don't remember them last time I was there. Now, I've had fun in year-round Halloween stores. There used to be one not far from me. That was nice. Um, and... Spittoons are us. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's terrible. Oh, my God. No, we don't need spittoons or us. That's so awful. Christmas spittoons. Oh. Pirate dinner show. Okay. I've never actually done a dinner show there, so I don't know what to, to make of it. I don't... This is the only thing I can do. I don't have a 
Uh, thanks get Spatula City! Spatula City! Spatula City! Find that spatula for every occasion. What better way to say I love you than with a spatula? Spatula City! Spatula! Total defense. It's not bad. Here, we will get tentacles. We will use tentacles for this. Um. Alright. Well. If I use tentacles, though, it goes away, like it's ripped up and gone out of my deck. I don't want to already use it. That, that feels like a waste. However, we will use firecrackers. A drive through coffee shop called Give Me My Damn Coffee. <laughs> what kind of store would make me happy? I don't know, man. That's that's a tough question. I used to go into... Uh, the money store. No, I don't want to have to buy money. Um, oh, no, no. You, you just go in and they hand you money. Well, that... First of all, that sounds awesome, and second, it sounds like a laundering scheme, so I'm a little concerned. Um, but the first part, the first part has it! Yes. What kind of store would make you happy? That's awesome! Well, but then I would be worried, like, a lot, and... <laughs> you know what, Fulgar, you're right. You're right. I used to go to the, um... What were they called? They were like the martial arts supply stores that they would have around. But it got to the point where they were just filled with junk all the time. And I I, I quit going there. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't know. What kind of store would make me happy? I, I don't have a good answer for you on that front. Because... I, I just... Mm. Alright, here. We're gonna do that. Now we're gonna throw the... F I don't have the ammo for the fight. Get him, Diggs. And then we're gonna smack him with a fish. What kind of store would make me happy? You know what? The only... The store that makes me happy right now is going to Aldi. Because I can go in. I can get the groceries we need. I don't have to pay a lot for it. And I don't spend all day looking through six different kinds of it. Either they have it or they don't. But I also realize just how incredibly old that makes me sound. Samurai said there was a martial arts store here named Dongs, and I was always 12 years old. <laughs> I mean, we used to have a Korean restaurant in Lansing called Emo's that was right next to... Um, on O'Reilly's, and I always just stated that you never wanted the special sauce. And then I went there, and it was delicious. So, I have an important question about Emo's. Yes. How often did they have to hire prep cooks, or did the food cut itself? You know, I don't know. Uh, I know that in the back was a little uh, Korean grandmother, and the food was phenomenal. Yeah, but it's emos and food cut it. Oh, people hate that joke. Oh, wait, I have something here from Grimos. Positive share. I am in the midst of a grand old game of Battletech. We're getting walloped. This week has been a thing that happened. Definitely recovered from COVID. Good news. Still working through the rest of it. Earned a nice chunk of change today. I finished assembling a Hellstar. I'm painting as a Bolan Jaeger. Hailberg. That's great, Grimos. Thank you for sharing that. It wasn't... It wasn't that bad a joke, was it? I mean, it was just... I just thought it was funny. Here, we'll get this match because it blinds folks. Yeah, that's all we need. Now, is this going to throw me back? I haven't done this before. Yup, it threw me back. Funny. Now i got to fix the ship. Okay. Which is a good joke. Peoria, Illinois. Which is a good thing. Peoria has an ice cream shop called Emo's with a giant clown sign. Hmm. 
Oh, a razor shave shop open next up next to a hot topic. It's yeah, it's a one-stop shop, and yes, it's it's on the edge. Hmm. The edge of glory. <laughs> wow. The I, edge. I did not, of glory. I did not know you were a Lady Gaga fan, dude. I'm actually not, but hey, I know that I know the lyrics to one song. I I have no evidence to convince me that you're not. That's fine. All right. Cold, also, cold I, I wish to thank you for being here. Have a good night, man. Also, I've got to point out uh, th there's something about that song that would actually make it a little bit more amusing, which is the edge of gory. Well, okay. I, 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 I don't have an opinion. Well, then that's not fun. You're I, supposed to have opinions. Oh, wait, we got a positive share from Fezbear. Finished the control panel for my aquarium setup and installed a new protein skimmer in it as well. That's great, Fezbear. Is that protein going in your shakes in the morning or are you saving it for supper? <laughs> God, you're really <laughs> trying to piss some people off tonight, aren't you? I don't know. That joke was right there and I, had, I felt like I had to go for it. I'm sorry. I, it, it felt like I could not let that one lie. <clears throat> um, we will hope for a critical out of this. We didn't get a critical out of it. Awesome. Do not drink from the aquarium coffee maker. Okay. Algae sh Yeah, that's the thing. I hear people talking about algae shakes. And it's, you know, it's supposed to be good for you or something. And I'm like, are you sure about that? Because... Because I don't know, man. There's... there's I'm, I've got some problems out of this. Oh, the maelstrom went away. I can go this way again. Danny Kong, thank you for following. Thank you for being here. <laughs> They're vegans and very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Um... No, I'm not going to do any of that. We're just going to sail. There's a sunken ship. Are we going to loot the ship? We're going to find... We found some treasure! Okay. Yay, we found some treasure! Some treasure has been found! Treasure! Danny, you've assembled across the community stream for the Black Pants Legion. Could somebody go ahead and hit those in the chat, please? That'd be pretty awesome. We're here on Twitch. We have the archive on the YouTubes and the Discord even. The, the tubes of you? Yup. <gasps> oh no. Not only that, but the auxiliary Discord just went through a... Well, it's in the process of going through an organized coup, I guess. Is that a good way to put... No, it, election. That's the term I'm looking for. Election. That's what's happening. Decades long election. It's certainly not me too, Hoops. It better be you too, Hoops, laddie. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do that. We got more armor. We're gonna wild out. There you go, get him, Diggs. And we give him the stabby stab. There we go. Brother accidentally grabbed a vegan protein meal. I haven't seen him that disappoint since the time he got so high with a friend. They stood outside in the middle of winter for an hour waiting on a pizza they never ordered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, man. We totally got a pizza. <laughs> Shows right here you didn't. No, we got the pizza, man. Uh, uh, how cold uh, is it out here? It's negative two. Oh, wait. I got a bar fight. I brought a bear to a bar fight. Oh, my God. I mean, if I had the ability to do so, I would as well. Oh, God. That is a guaranteed win for bar fight. Oh, my God. I, I'm having a hard time dealing with that now. Because just... 
That's that's something out of like straight out of like a K. Trevor Wilson stand up bit and Harold and Kumar order from Pizza Hut. <laughs> Look, these guys are hitting me with fish, man. There's something not right going on here. Um, here, you take that, and then you. Here, we'll get we'll get some armor up. Rebellion is legal in the first person. It's only in the third person it becomes illegal. Right to a. Hey. As Robin Williams once said, you have the right to bear arms, or the right to arm bears. It's one of the two, and I can't remember which. It's one of the two. Pick your poison. Alright. Can I have some ammo, please? Nope. No, you cannot have ammo. I wanted ammo so I could use firecrackers. What in the world? Let's see. Now, in my defense, I'm not giving the bear the crossbow. I'm using Why the crossbow not? and letting the bear do what bear do. Fish slap turn angry bear into hungry bear. Yeah, yeah, that would seem to be the case. We're going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, all right, we got him. Boom. Headshot. Bringing true force to bear. Thank you for that, Bolo. Alright, now... Hey, can I serve you a bear claw? There we go. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's the good stuff right there. We'll do that, too. Go get him, Diggs. Yeah, see that? Got him. Boom. You know what? We're going to Kevin McAllister this guy. There we go. We got it. Chat's becoming unbearable. Um, oh, no. Becoming? Sir, I I, I, I advise you to, to do, examine your history. We got stuck on a reef. Man, what kind of... What kind of hack captain is running this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Hello! Um... Um, my, name is, my name is Captain James T. Go fuck yourself. Does that all fit on the certificate? Uh, if they make it twice the size of the normal certificate, yes. Look, these puns are bad enough. I'm going to have to go run and hide. Oh, man. Don't you, don't you do that already? <clears throat> well, I was attempting to make another bear joke, but I... I, I reached too far for it. You're saying that you reached beyond the bear necessities? I did. I did. Um, so this bear can't rest at ease. Boot porridge. I only came in because I saw Ursine. Well, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. After, after this run, I'll play a different hero, but I thought that... Uh, Playing the digs class would be something that would make people happy. This is a Kodiak moment, you're right. You know what? Actually, after I get done with this, I do have a surprise for you. We'll have a... Uh, is it working, Grim Fandango? <laughs> no, no. It's a surprise, not a miracle. So... We're going to do that, and then that. Yeah, that'll be good. Oh, <laughs> we're made to tailspin all of a sudden. <laughs> no, it's, it's not as funny as the meat pounding stream. Okay, well, that's... I'm sorry I can't help you with that, but... Uh, that's not one of meat's many uses, man. So this is another Diggington ancestor, I guess. Yeah, we're going to take the knuckle duster and get rid of the rusty anchor. That's better. I think that's good. Let's get some food. I can't get more food. So we're going to go fight the boss, Baraki. <laughs> All trouble Hal's gets in, it's another tail spin. Awesome. 
Thank you for that. It's another tale to spin. Alright, we'll do that, we'll do that, and you know what, since we're here, and we're up against the boss, I'm gonna save the, save that. We're gonna hang on to this. Yeah, everyone misread it as bear fight instead of barf. Well, look, there's some people that make decisions sometimes, and things happen, and, um, he's, okay, so the damage this guy deals is equal to the armor he has because he's wielding a dinghy as two shieldy weapons here which i have to give them credit that's that's actually some pretty pretty fun enemy design oh yeah fireworks it's so, this guy's like thorn oak and shield got nothing on me He's he's Thorn Boat Hull. Thorn Boat and Shield? No, Boat and Hull. His little... hull his hull is literally made of boats, but I'm hey. uh... Ain't he a little tall to be a dwarf? No one said he was a dwarf. Uh no. I'm I'm not I'm not doing myself any favors. I'm uh I'm Hold just... on. Hold on. Yep. Tinkle Gunderson here. I'm here to weigh in on whether Mr. Botenshield is a possibly a dwarf. Uh, he appears to be using uh, different wooden implements. And as you know, uh, wood is not something commonly used by dwarves. We prefer metal. Metal, stone, stone, metal. Yes, those kind of things. Therefore, I'm going to say this is an elven sympathizer. Therefore, not a dwarf. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wait, we got one. Thank you for that tinkle. Uh, thank you for breaking in. We got one from Bolo. A show in the 80s ran for a season or two called The Tales of Golden Morky about an ex-flying tiger and his Grumman Goose seaplane. It was trying to be the Indiana Jones TV show, and it's more the bones upon which Disney made Tailspin. How weird. So this is boat murdering. He has come to make me boat murdered. Should someone perhaps inform Boat Bomber that his ancestor is in a game? Should we do that, maybe? All right. I have well, hold on. Uh, hold on. You have Bombard there. Then he becomes Boat Bombarder. Oh, wow. Wow, we're getting layers on this. We're getting like an onion here, man. brain hurts from his latest video. I, You know what? I haven't watched his latest video, so, uh... Mur murder, mur murder, mur murder. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to, uh... Just plead... I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. Oh, let's do some stabbies. There we go. We'll do that, too. Can I get armor out of this? Yes, I can get 18 armor. Mermaider. Yes. Tales of the Golden Monkey was produced by Don Belisario, the same guy that made Magnum P.I. and Airwolf. What a callback. Okay. I... Alright, This is the armor's going to soak most of what he's going to do. That's good. What is the most damage I can put on him? Actually, that's pretty great, so we'll just go with that, because the armor persists. Also did the Black Sheep Squadron. But how do you get the Black Sheep up in the plane's brain? That's not what I meant, thank you. How's the cat doesn't like that joke either, so yeah, I'm going to have to live with it. All right, we have special ammo. That's nice. And then this is also nice. And then I'm gonna do this, and then we'll use the firecrackers, I think. 
They were out of ideas, so they made objects characters. That's... Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing the, um... The MC Hammer Saturday morning cartoon also. Hammer Man. And the shoes were sentient. Yes, Kitty. He made they made MC uh, Hammer shoes wait, sentient. Wait, hold on. What? So you're hitting him a bunch of times, right? Yep. Are you be angerous now? No me hurt you when stairs fall down. I mean I can't rule it out. Soon he be dead? Hopefully. It's gonna be about time at this rate. The jerk. Although at the moment You're I You better be angerous now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't hurt me when stairs fall down! We're almost there! Oh. I'm going to be so dead. Look at this. It's not... I don't have enough to get through. I don't have enough to chop him down. Here it goes. Splat. Yep, that's the splat. Oh! Oh! Look at that! We unlocked the dead captain. The unknown captain. Sorry, not the dead captain. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do is I am going to set up... Hey, get back up there. You know what? I'm going to grab this one right here. That's not what I meant. Uh, also, I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of sad to, to, to state the fact that I could not recall the name Bat Metal. I had to go in and try and figure out what the hell that song was. <laughs> Here, I got something for you guys. Let me go ahead and put it in here. Uh, this will be a media source. And let me add this in. And what we will do is I will play this while we have a quick bathroom break. And we will be right back. Sound good, Warlax? We'll be right back. All right. Well, here we go. We'll see you in a few minutes, everybody. Okay, folks, um, I'm glad at least most of you made it back. Um, yeah, yeah, um, you know, they, they always say that uh, we, we don't have to split the money as many ways this time, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that we, we do have some death benefits attached to this, so uh, let's just get some basic facts out of the way. So, did... Um did that rookie happen to have any next of kin? Uh, that, well, we're, we're going to have to look into his personnel file. Um, I, I didn't realize when you said that uh, that he was down that his, his cockpit had been turned into a thin red paste, so I haven't had an opportunity to do that yet, but... Uh, it wasn't yeah. that thin. Well... In any event, let's get some basic facts out of the way. You guys were hired to attack this Capellan base on the border. Uh, this is for future records, so let's make sure that we've got everything down. Uh, Capellan's uh, border. We were... Let's see, who... Oh, what's the name on this check, boss? Um, yeah, the name on the check is the... Uh... Free Worlds League 42nd Shriners Adjacent Association. A glorious and reputable organization, I can tell because they have their name on paper. Yeah, the guy from the group, he bribed me with his here beer so that I wouldn't tell anybody uh, what he looked like. 
all of these. What, what are, are, are you, are you drinking during the debrief? Were you drinking in the tank? Well, you gotta, you gotta use the beer cans to calibrate. I got enough beer for everybody, boss. Yeah, oh. you're not. That's that's. I'm glad Damn you it. got enough. You, to here, uh, have a beer. I'm glad you got enough to share this time. Well, you know, sometimes it's like that. So yeah, um, we went in for the engagement, uh, medium medium lance deployment. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be a quick in and out, just a herring attack, and they um. Did they know you were coming? Uh, we got there. They certainly seem to. I challenged them. There is no honor in a sneak attack in which the enemy is not prepared. Oh. Yeah, oh. Here, Wendy. Wendy, have a beer. <laughs> Dude, uh, that explains, well, pretty much the whole thing. Yes. Well, well, we had glorious victory. We fought many of them. We took no, only no. moderate losses. A grand success for the day. Honor for okay, everyone. Okay. Kerensky okay. Would be sit, proud. sit down, Joseph J. Bondsman. Did you tip them off because what? you thought it was dishonorable? No, that is ridiculous. I called the 800 number on the side. Okay. Next time, he gets an ambassador. He doesn't get a real neck next time. What did we give him this time? I do not know, but it smelled very bad. That could have been literally anything. I think it was that leftover hornet that had the, uh, had half a wrecking ball welded onto one side. Yes, I do not care for your pitiful inner sphere bullshit machine. It smelled bad, it rode terrible, the jump jet said no, and one of the legs came off. Very bad design. Oh, well, I took I, the like, jump jets off your mech and I put them on my tank, just trying to go faster. What? A, okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just glad sorry, I, Mr. Bondsman, but we're a mercenary company. We can't afford the fancy clan stuff. What? Okay, I, I'm just, just gl better. Just I'm just wrong. glad that Wendy was there to save your all's asses again, because. Let's be honest for a second. If the Capellans hadn't been rolling out there in a half dozen Vindicators and a Shadowhawk, I think, I think Don't you'd all. Don't say that out loud. Hey, it it happened. God damn it! I mean, I, I don't look, technically. Central, listen. I rammed the Shadowhawk, okay, with my tank, and I knocked it down so that Wendy could stomp on it more easily. And then I went, and I ran out of ammunition, and I just drove over a couple of Vindicators. It was fine. It all worked Listen, out No, fine. no, no. You need to include in there that I gleefully stomped on that stupid thing. How did you get your mech to jump up and down like that anyway? <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that sounds like not our problem. Anyway, uh, it turns out those guys, uh, they don't respect our missiles even when we use a lot of them. So, uh, note that down for next time. Wendy, um, th that laugh scares me. <laughs> what do you mean they don't respect your missiles? Look, I shot some missiles at them, right? Because, look, the Capellans. And, um, they didn't hit. So, I shot some missiles at them. And then, for some reason, they didn't hit. But don't worry, I had a plan for this. And I shot some, some missiles reason. at them. For it, some and, reason, they didn't hit. <laughs> yeah, look. Don't, it's fine. It's fine. Um, did you? It's fine. What? Did, did you sell the guidance systems out of your LRMs for beer money again? Not my fault this time. Systems? This time. Wait, LRMs? Oh God, what's the margin gonna be all of a sudden? You've got a cataphract out, but boss, that's at least something, right? You know what? Yes, okay. that is okay. true. Okay. Let's, I wish let's... to engage in inner sphere conventional standard business transaction. Dibs. You know, I'm just glad we got a parts bin mech. It's easier to okay. fix. L let me ask you a question here, um, because this is going to be important when somebody here that runs the fucking business operations has to file the insurance report with the MRBC. Shit. What? happened to the rookie. Oh, he died. 
So yeah, I got uh, that. They're gonna ask well, some questions. Now look, died in a mech. Listen, I, I know, I know this is gonna sound a little suspicious, but somebody was stomping on a shadow hawk, and somebody was using their tank to knock over vindicators. And Rookie rushed in there, and, you know, some parts hit him, and he fell over, and then he wound up underneath three Vindicators. And You know, um, you know that new cataphract we have? It, um, it has an autocannon in it, and the autocannon shoots big, big bullets out of it that explode when they hit things, like cockpits. Rookie, rookie cockpit series. It turns out slightly more explosive than better. That, that, that's how that works. So you're Look, telling boss, me? me yeah, no, no, stop, stop. You're about to say bad things, and then you're going to blame us for things, and that's going to be bad. So what if instead of that, uh, technically we don't have any proof that he's dead? Like, there's not a corpse left in that blender slurry. So maybe he left, and doesn't do you, do you, work for us anymore. Do you want reason. the insurance money or not? Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, headshot. Autocannon headshot, that's what happened. He he wound up underneath a couple of Vindicators, and the cataphract happened, and then some stomping occurred. I drove over the cataphract's foot, though. So, Wait, can well, we just write that's... cause of death compellence? Yeah, we oh, can now. I don't think that'd be the first time, but... No. That's I mean, way. look... On the plus side, it was a griffin. There's lots of parts. Yeah, all over well, the ground. I'm just I saw them. Be... Wait, he was driving the griffin, and he got club. You really a picked a winner on this one, didn't you, boss? Where'd you find this guy? From well, the from our the the planetary garrison we've got the contract with. Also, somebody stole the griffin arms, welded them into a form of making rude head gestures and then welded the arms to my tank. Wait, is that what happened? That's where the arms went. Is that legal? I don't care. I, you know what? From now on, it's not, okay? No more of that, alright? I don't care. Okay. I, I, okay. I've already got my griffin arms making rude head gestures welded to my tank. Okay, okay. I'm gonna turn off the... Rec what? I have been making rude gestures inside of the cockpit this entire time. I did not realize there was an external option. Where do I request additional arms? Don't worry, well, I know a guy that can add a button. When so I'm, when I'm sure that we can give you a mech that has arms and not bad hornet, we'll see what happens. So I think I think we learned something here today, everybody. And Part of that lesson is we always make sure Wendy has an AC-20. Like the mech? You, you mean in the mech, right? Ye sure. No more questions. I'm stopping <laughs> the recording so that there is nothing for later investigations now. Hey, should we tell them about all the weapons I stole? Hey, we're back. Hey, we're back. Hello, how are we? Yes, it Heather, is us. We have we? returned with empty bladders, full stomachs, and, well, yeah, the, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I 
All right, Geth, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes being notorious is a thing. So we just unlocked the unknown captain. Is it? Oh no! Is it echoing? It shouldn't be echoing now. So we're going to see how the unknown captain goes. And we have not gone to Skull Island yet, so this is actually going to be pretty pretty appropriate. Skull Island! Yep. That sounds the fun. Stories and legend of Skull Islands are many and dark, but each of them mentions a relic that can bring the dead back to life. I, I thought I, I thought I killed the echo during the during the video, Falkenstein, so uh, <clears throat> I, I thought I had that did that did the echo kick off while we were doing that? Because it should have. Okay, good. I know I, I I discovered what it was. Who is up here? Deadbeard the pirate. Alright, cool. Let's see. Yeah, we can go up the right side. I think that'll be fine. DFA. <laughs> Look at these guys. It deals four damage five times when I'm ignited? What? Well, excuse me. Okay. Uh, I don't... Okay, well, we'll try this. And we'll get a specter shield out. And I guess we'll try the specter shots. That's not bad, right? Okay. Alright. What is this? Skill. We're more about... Oh, this is the igniting. Except I used it on him. Okay. Well, I'm gonna reload. What does this do? Oh, soul charge. Well, we'll just shield, I think. All right. So we've got ammo, ammo, cleave, and then we'll go pew, 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 pew. Oh, that's not enough pew. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, and we'll ignite that guy. Let's yeah, see. sounds good. Ignit that guy. Yes, yes. That's that's the that's the proper verb tense, I think. What? Best skeleton pirate is Murray from Monkey Island. It's certainly not LeChuck, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I'm Ignit. Oh no. We're gonna do bonus damage. What does this do? Draw a card. Oh, well, I get to draw two cards because I'm Ignit. Here, you take that one too, buddy. Although when I'm Ignit, I don't heal anything. That's definitely, definitely worth noting. What? What? I don't... Is he going to get up? Is it, Or is he taking a nappy nap? I don't... Oh, I'm afraid he might just be taking a nappy nap. <laughs> We'd be looking for the big whoop. That's correct, yes. We are looking for the big whoop. Oh! I, I, don't, I don't like that. What does this do? Sure, let's go for it, man. Let's let's get Ignit. Oh my gosh, will you stay dead, please? And this won't do me any good. There, gosh. They just don't want to stay down, do they? Oh, Skeleton Claw, melee, 7 damage, critical hit to humans. What do the rotten bananas do? Nah, 
Now we're not gonna do that. Um, okay. Well, let, let's get nuts here. Oh, yeah. I love it. You're sitting there, you're like, let's get nuts, and I, I'm sitting here with my own game just going nuts. Well, I mean, yeah. There, There's a... There's things we gotta do, man. Like, you gotta... It's a... It's a... Cle oh! Jerk. He got up. I may not have been... May not have been the best idea for me to do this in the new zone with the new um, stuffs, but here we are. We're doing this now. Yep, we're doing this, folks. Hello, Fox! Alright. Yeah, we'll sharpen our weapons. Uh, what does that do? That just does more damage. That reloads two. That does more damage. That's... Uh... Huh. Interesting. Well, we'll, we'll do this. And we'll bet some coins. Crew's happy. That's nice. We'll go to the market. What's at the market? Oh, we get money if we get hit in battle. That's actually really handy. Uh, what did this do again? Oh, rotten bananas. Rotten bananas. Hey, Digi. You're playing a Pokemon ROM hack. Interesting. Gonna do that. 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 There we go. One, two, three, four. All these cool moves I'm doing. Um, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm doing cool moves, man. Like they're so cool, you do you do not even realize. I don't. That's okay. You don't have to. You can just take my word for it. Or you can read the. Or you can read it in a book. In a book. Yeah, man. That sounds like sorcery. I'm not sure I'm up for that. Yeah, it, it was this uh, TV show. It was called Reading Rainbow. Oh, is that where the guy, the, the chief engineer of the Enterprise, came back in time to tell people to read books? Yes, it is where uh, LeVar Burton told people to read books. Well, I remember that very well. Is it a... Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Yes, Night Owl. Night Owl, you are 100% correct. You take a look, you read a book, it is Reading Rainbow. Because I can go anywhere. Yep. Save Starfleet in the galaxy. <laughs> now, you know, the thing that bugs me is there, there are people say, you know, when I was your age, television was called books. It's like, no, it wasn't. It absolutely was not. That is not true in the slightest. Because you watch TV too, but since there was just one in the house, your parents would get mad and kick you out. Like, don't don't bring that weak hippity bippity up in here. I will give them that TV wasn't twenty four hours when they were our age. Well, I mean, even that is like rotating out. You know, it's there. The we have now ended our broadcast day thing was like fifty sixties and. That is not so much as it used to be, you know? Best holodeck program. That's... that's true. Yes, we will have feast. And you know what we'll have? We'll have ghost food. Chili sin pistoles, I guess. 
Oh, it's Ursula. Look, look at that. I didn't expect that. Well, that's, that's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, there, that's, that is also true. That, that point was lots and lots of infomercials at that point in time. It was, it was pretty frustrating. I did laugh myself sick whenever I turned on, because we have a broadcast antenna because we don't have cable here. Uh, intentionally. Um, but when uh, when I turned on for the Super Bowl and I was I was moving to that channel, there were other channels on there that were just like, you know what, screw it, we're just playing infomercials during this slot. We're gonna make some money back somehow. Back in my day, we didn't play video games all day because we didn't have enough quarters at the arcade machines. Aha! Uh -huh. Isn't that right, Fezbear? Chupa thingy. My age, we went outside till the sun went down or got called in for dinner and we had to avoid drug dealers and child abductors the entire day. Yeah, and and now we are, we as a generation are, are, you know, massively depressed and, and you know, anxiety ridden and having a hard time dealing with when pinball had no flippers that that's why it was regulated as gambling right you know there's I, th I think it was maybe it was New York that still called pinball a gambling instead of a game of skill something like that there was one was state that? that there was one state like that that still regulated pinball as gambling oh yeah um... I was like what so dumb. Oh, in the 80s, we had to worry about Satanists playing the D&D. &D. Now, funny story, true story. In somewhere in uh, Kentucky or Tennessee, I can't remember which one. But there was, it was in effect for people who were kind of their own little cult that started acting, calling themselves and acting like they were vampires. Uh, so in American cities, ban pinball out of fear of the arcade game's effect on crime, juvenile delinquencies, and morality. And that was on March 6th, 1948. 48? 48. Yeah, because we sure as heck don't want these kids out on the street smoking cigarettes and doing crime, do we? Can't be having none of that. Or, yeah, we need them out there doing that, not playing the pinball. Yeah, 1949, uh, by that point in time, New York was actually going around much like uh, they'd done in the... Uh, Prohibition. No, in Prohibition. Uh, and we're busting up pinball machines with sledgehammers. <laughs> I'm just at a loss. Is it like, did, did nobody realize, maybe... Uh, and <laughs> anyone 18 years or younger, uh, it is illegal to play pinball in South Carolina. Apparently Louisiana, too. Uh, it is one of the only states where the Palmetto or where the pinball prohibition remains on the books. Why? Comic books called Juvenile Delinquency in the 40s and 50s. Yeah, I remember that, too. Not that I was there, I just remember the story. You know, it's not a... Yeah, it... it... So, this, it's something I struggle with every now and then, thinking about my own kids. And it's like, am I... Like, am I, am I, like, overly protective or something? And then I realized, like, you know, if... If my parents knew the kind of stuff we got into when we were out running around doing stuff, the amount of trouble I would have been in would have been pretty intense. 
So, I've come to the conclusion that, hey, my kids knowing I love them and wanting me, wanting them with me is not, not a terrible outcome. That's, that's where I'm, how did you get a hundred armor, dude? I don't know. Okay. Yes, yes, Night Owl, I did exist in 1982. That is 100% accurate. I did. I did not. Yeah, I totally did. That, uh... Okay, well, look at this. Look at him. Look at him. 100 armor again. Here, we'll just blind you so it's only a 50-50 shot at hitting me. There, we'll do that. How's that sound? Ah, I had the armor for it anyway, jerk. <laughs> Wasn't even in alpha release. Was the trouble because I did it or because I got caught? Um, I would have been in trouble if it had been found out. I'll put it that way. Also, uh, the my dad my dad left a crater in the middle of the Daniel Boone National Forest, blew up a wheelbarrow and a drain pipe, and was only chastised over the fact that he didn't have eyebrows. You know, I I am familiar with the Daniel Boone National Forest. What'd your dad do to my forest? Tried to make a cannon. He tried to shoot, uh, quote, the yellow croquet ball because uh, my friend's sister liked it. Okay, I get it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I, I'm not going to hate, you know, I get it. Oh, yeah, fights over stolen cards. That's true. That's why I quit bringing mine to school. Okay, uh, Digi points out anything, anything created before you hit 15 was part of how the world worked. 16 to 30 is the exciting new field, and then after 30 is dangerous newfangled nonsense. I mean, yeah, not you're not wrong. Getting hacking because the admin password was password one two three. Yeah. You can't hack into this. It's like, I, I, I absolutely can, because your password sucks. That's how I can do it. I got in trouble because I learned how to um, set the prices on uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi machines. Oh, wow. Didn't you need a key for that? Mm, not on the panel ones. Huh. Okay. That's and, interesting. Uh, I, I got in trouble with it for a couple of times because I didn't learn my lesson the first time when I got three Pepsis for free. I mean, that's one of those things you, you, you can't just let slide, you know? Uh, well, yeah, but here's the thing. They were charging two bucks a Pepsi... Oh. In a school. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, you know, you're sitting there in a school and it's like, you know, I'm not going to pay $2 for a pop. No, no, that, that, that makes sense. And, and this is back when, you know, pops were 75 cents to a dollar. Uh, that, that's, that's further back. Because... You know, man, my day there, Sonny, there, 50 cents, and we are grateful. Because, you know, uh, I've got to yeah. make those back in my day jokes. Yeah, so, so, to put gum in the dollar reader. <laughs> no, th th there was a way easier trick that I learned. Uh huh. And I learned it from one of my friends who, um,. I, I believe learned it from a YouTube video and he kind of did it to one of them and he goes, oh, it didn't work. And I went down the, the down the hallway and did it to another one and guess what? It worked. Fucking worked. <laughs> hey, we got a positive share from Von Ziefkador. 
I had a great afternoon visiting friends despite it being cut short by my ongoing illness. It was a wonderful reminder to enjoy the time you have with friends relaxing and chatting. Well, on Zeef Kador, that is fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you very, very much. That does indeed sound positive. See, the, the funny thing was, is we got un the classic Unreal Tournament 99, and someone put it in the shared folder for the entire school. Oh, that's... that. And that's... so, they kept trying to find it, uh, and... Uh, yeah, put that in the shared folder, that's a rookie move. Yes, I was in school when we could learn things from YouTube. It was still fairly new, but it but it worked. It did not feature Texas' favorite example of the guy who would show you how to, like, press pants or something. Oh, it might have. It might have been. It was real early days. Okay, that's it, it fair. Wasn't... That's fair. Hey, look, man, I, I'm my I'm from. I started in the heyday that did not have. All right, there we go. I, I, I'm not afraid to say I graduated in 2011. It, it wasn't super far into internet generation. Okay, yeah. Um, I started with the internet in the 90s, so... Yeah. Somebody get my cane and Metamucil. Listen, I started with the internet back then, too. However, it hadn't grown up hardly at all. All right, there's a stretch, Redeem. Ugh. Are you sure you can do that, Grandpa? No, I'm really not, because I woke up this morning with the pinched nerve in my neck hurting, so it's um, it's just that kind of way for me right now. But what we'll do, what we'll do is we're really, we're up on, on um, the end of the yes. block here. Yes, Mavis Beacon did, did teach us typing. And so, uh, what I want to say for everybody out there... Uh, 54 of you guys 54 oh positive share from digi i finally felt together enough after the funeral to gm for my friends i'm doing okay digi i'm so glad to hear that i'm so glad to hear that um so so to, to make all of you feel a little bit better i grew up in a town and went to school in a town that didn't really know what internet was until like 2007 it was a farming town and it didn't have anything uh you know like a walmart or anything in it until i had almost graduated high school <laughs> night owl says that doesn't help <laughs> Yeah. As a whole, it was one of these, oh, hey, yeah, the internet's out there. Would be a shame if you learned how to use it. The devil gets into your head that way. So, Bolo, yeah, I'm, um, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, positive share from Grubin. Years of Mavis Beaking failing to teach me typing. I gained typing proficiency with Diablo 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, so everybody, I want to say thank you for being here for this for the stream. There's more than 50 of you here. That's that it just sometimes it just staggers me that that many of you show up to listen to my stupid voice. But um, I want to say thank you all for being here. I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Uh, I do not know if I, will I refuse, be, sir. I will be. I do not know if I will be in the slot next week, and I'll tell you why because this is important next week on Sunday is AEW Revolution and it's not just that it's AEW Revolution it's AEW Revolution Sting's retirement match Sting is in his 60s and finally hanging it up Sting is my he'll come back vote. in no, five years no he won't no Sting won't um He's retired like up. five times. No, he hasn't. Ric Flair has. Sting has retired once before. And that's it. Sting will, yeah. Well, yeah, Grubin. Um, you look up the last three years of Sting doing stuff and it'll blow your mind. But 
he's my he's my personal goat, and I'm going to be very sad to see him go. But I've got to watch that. And yeah, it's Sting. It's not Terry Funk. I, I mean, he's going to win his last match. Nah, that's completely up in the air. Typically, you don't. Because you take everything that everybody poured into you over your career and pass that lineage along to somebody else. Um, and so Sting is calling it, it's time to go. And I am, I, I've got, I gotta be there for it because it's Sting. It's my guy. I met him. Yeah. Yeah. Nature Boy is, but Nature Boy couldn't quit. And um, Sting, Sting is one of the only like I don't get I don't get nervous meeting famous people. It just don't. They're just treating you know like folks and stuff. Um, I got nervous meeting Sting because it's, it's Sting. So anyway, I may not be on next weekend. Um, we may we'll see who might want to cover that spot. But in in any event, thank you all for being here. Please take care of yourselves. Remember, if you're in a bad place. You can call or text 988 if you're in uh, the United States or Canada for the um, National Mental Health Crisis Line. They will help you. They will they will help you get the help you need. And maybe, just maybe, I can strong-arm Grim Fandango into working properly again and we can finish that section out. But thank you, everybody. I appreciate you being here. And I hope everybody has a great night. Thank you all so much very much.